All right, friends. Well, one of the great summertime events in St. John's is the Port of St. John's annual yacht race. This year, our correspondent Jeremy Reynolds was there. He's got a whole bunch of highlights and interviews from another great weekend on the water in St. John's. We're on the road to St. John's, Newfoundland, Labrador on East Coast Sports Show. Joining me now is Ryan Kelly. He's on the race committee for the, the race today. Thanks for joining us, Ryan. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm just wondering, uh, race is about to start. What is your role here today? Uh, I'm serving as the principal race officer for the, the race committee. So we're actually the ones going out, setting the, the buoys, the marks in the, uh, in the harbor, the start line, and conducting your races. So we get yeah, the signals. Uh, basically running the start so the competitors know when to start and the finish so that, uh, so that we're both nice to come around. So we're, we're running the race. We saw you out there setting up the race uh, today. I know you probably have to judge by the wind conditions what the course is going to look like. What's it looking like uh, for the race, this particular race today? Uh, definitely challenging uh, with the wind coming in the direction that it is. It's, uh, it's definitely being um, impacted by the different hills and, and the uh, the buildings and stuff like that. Um, uh, so yeah, it's it's going to be shifty. It's definitely going to be uh, challenging for everyone out there, and it suffice to say that the most skilled sailors will definitely make the front of the back. Sounds good. And I know that this is an open race, different classes of vessels. How does that usually shake down? Interesting to say the very least. Uh, typically, we group the sailboats together um, in similar speeds, but this is open, so we're going to have some very fast boats potentially by some slow boats and. Uh, that speed difference will definitely play into how you plan your way around. So maybe some di maybe some David versus Goliath moments in store? There will definitely be some yelling on the course, that yeah. I can assure you. <laughs> uh, just last thing, we just uh, witnessed the skippers meeting. You were giving us some very technical directions. Can you break down some of those uh, instructions you were giving, perhaps for laymen like myself or some of our viewers out there who don't know too much about sailing? Absolutely. Uh, so the start sequence itself is five minutes, and we uh, we do a, a number of flags and signals so that they know basically where they're at on things. Uh, from there, they're gonna come up the harbor. They'll turn around uh, right just about where we're standing now. Go down almost by the narrows, and they'll make two laps around that. So they'll be sailing upwind as they come into this part of the part of the harbor, and then downwind potentially with the spinnakers on the way out towards the narrows. Uh, we'll be doing two laps, and then they, they finish right back where they start. Joining us now, Justin Lada, and you're the skipper of the Shalloway. Is that right, Justin? Yeah, that's correct. The uh, CNC 44, just you can almost see it behind us. Yeah. You're racing in the race today. Uh, before we get to talking about the race, I want to ask you a little bit about your sailing background. How long have you been a skipper of this particular boat? Uh, I've been uh, acting as skipper probably roughly around 20 years now, and uh, been sailing all of our lives. Uh, Racing's always been a big part of it, but we also like to cruise too with our families. And so yeah. And how long have you? How many times have you competed in this particular race? A lot of times. Uh, we've been coming here since we've been very young. It's been an annual thing for 20, 30, many, many years. Uh, the St. John, we're lucky enough that the St. John's Port Authority hosts it for us. Uh, we're very gracious of that. Uh, and it's, event, it's an event that folks from the Royal Newfoundland Yacht Club, uh, but also from Holyrood and, and other uh, clubs uh, around the province, really look forward to. Uh, so we're excited here today to get on the water and do some racing. So I saw you and the crew come in yesterday from the Royal Newfoundland Yacht Club, which is on the other side of the Avalon Peninsula. It's a bit of a sailing journey to get here. Uh, how was the, the weather yesterday? How was the sailing? Uh, the sailing was calm. There wasn't much wind pressure. Uh, it's Roughly 40 miles uh, from uh, Long Pond. It's about 20 to Cape St. Francis and then 20 in here to St. John's. Uh, but it was uh, it was relatively calm. A few icebergs, whales. Uh, it's a little bit chilly, but otherwise uh, a great day on the water. So the race happening at 1 p.m. today. Your crew is out preparing. Uh, maybe you want to mention the names of your crew and some of their duties. Uh, for Maybe our viewers not that familiar with sailing. Just give us a little bit of insight. Yeah, well, we race with a crew of 13. Uh, there's, on sailboats, there's many different jobs to do. Everyone has their uh, piece to do, and the key is timing, to do their piece uh, at the right time within sequence with everybody else. Um, the names, I mean, I race with my family, uh, my brother, uh, Michael, uh, Gordon Murphy, Chris Legrove, 
uh, Andrew Knoll, Beth Whalen, Jeff Sharp, Craig Dalton, Chris Jackson, um, there's lots more, Nicole Sussex, uh, Jamie Ross, I hope I don't forget anybody. The, the, and the list goes on. <laughs> yeah, the list goes on. Um, there, there's a lot of people, but uh, we've been doing this now for... It's a repair going right now, or a repair underway, so would you be willing to take us on? Yeah, I'd love to. They're trying to uh, fix our main sheet traveler that we broke last year. We've uh, done a number of repairs and it broke again yesterday, so... Uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to have a look to see how they're uh, how they're doing. They don't have a lot of time to get it finished up too. So. Okay, let's go check it out. Okay. All right, here we are on board the Shallowway, and they're doing some repairs. And Justin, why don't you take us through what they're doing as we can see down here? Well, what's happened? If you see this, this is called the bow, which has a mainsail on it, and the mainsail needs to go back and forth the boat. This attaches to that track there and slides back and forth. But it's a bit old, and with all the pressure upward, it's cracked off now twice. So now they're uh, putting a combination of a new one and, and repairing an old one, attaching it back to the track. So we'll be good to uh, race in about 45 minutes, right, guys? <laughs> you gotta love those last-minute uh, kind of decisions yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, that's all part of uh, sailor racing. <laughs> so once the race gets underway, where are you gonna find yourself? Uh, I'm back there behind the wheel, and they typically don't like me to go anywhere else. Uh, and all of these guys have their positions uh, spread out right across the boat, right from the bow, right back to the city. So, how many, uh, do you know how many laps of the harbor they're anticipating today that the race is going to be? Um, that'll depend on the wind. It's supposed to be fairly breezy today, so I would say each race will probably have maybe four four laps, and they'll probably try to get off uh, two or three races. And I know you guys have had some success in the past. Didn't win last year. What do you think the odds are this year of pulling out a victory? I don't know. There's a lot of good sailors here, and we'll do our best, but anybody could win. We're on board of the Nomad with skipper David Mitchell. How are you doing today, David? Very well, thank you. Thanks for coming aboard. Oh, it's our pleasure. Uh, you're racing in the race today, the St. John's Harbor Regatta. How many times have you raced in this so far in your in your sailing career? This is probably my uh, sixth or seventh time doing it at the Port Authority race. And every every year it turns out to be a, 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 high, a highlight of our summer, for sure. You say our summer, I think you may have some family members on board, perhaps, uh, some part of your group? Yeah, well, I haven't got any family member, per se, but i got an awful lot of friends, as you can see. we got uh, we got everybody from uh, uh, very experienced sailors to... Uh, New junior sailors making their way up to our junior sailing school at the Jack Club. So uh, we have a variety of experience on board, and we're looking forward to a good race today. So the Nomad, tell us a little bit about the boat. I know you said it's got a bit of a history. Oh, this boat, this boat is marvelous. This one, we picked up this boat uh, five years ago in Boston, and uh, we bought this boat off of uh, uh, Kent Damon, who's uh, the father of the actor Matt Damon. So uh, Matt Damon slept on this boat, so hence my, my, my wife never lets me clean it or wash it. I just have to leave everything the way it is. <laughs> That's great. And uh, how is it for racing? This boat. Yeah. This is the best boat ever. You, you guys should just go on, this, on the wharf, stand by, and watch us smoke on the other boats. Okay. <laughs> so the challenge has been issued. The challenge is issued. Uh, you got any, so you got any money on the line in this race? We have yeah, confidence. Yes. yes. We have Penny on board. That's, that's all the money we have. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about that, Penny? Well, let's hope we get to somewhere. <laughs> somewhere good at that. All right, great. Good luck with the race today. And is there anyone out there you may want to give a shout out to? No, just uh, I guess the most important thing for all of us to do today is have fun, enjoy ourselves, be safe. And uh, this, is a, this is a wonderful thing to be able to come around and do this. Thanks very much to the uh, St. John's Port Authority, as well as the Cape for... Uh, for this off, and as well as the Royal New Plan Yacht Club and co sponsors this event with the St. John's Port Authority. All right, thank you so much, and good luck in the race today, Skipper. Thank you very much for coming on board.